It's not like them, y'all. What's going on? Listen, I tried. I tried to do the YouTube um, live thing. It's ugly. Like, I don't like the look. I don't like... I just don't like how it flows. I don't... I don't like how I have to have my phone turned this way. So I'm going to just stick to um, Instagram Live and call it a day. So what I'm going to show y'all is is how to uh, do this. As promised, I am going to show y'all how to put a neckband, how to sew a neck. Oh, I put C. Mm. Can someone do me a solid? and retype what i put in there like what i pinned in there but not how to see um neck how to sew i needed to say how to sew on neckband for a pro perfect crew neck um shirt that's what i that's what i needed to say so again um i'm gonna show you how to sew on a crew neck neckband this here is the neck band. I'm just gonna show you how to do this so that it's perfect every time. Thank you, Nazira. And thank you to the other brother that did it as well. Well, not the other brother, because sister Nazira is not a brother, but thank you. So, <laughs> we're gonna do that right now. All you need is your fabric. Of course, I'm not expecting anybody to have their fabric on hand right now. I'm literally just going to show you how to do it. I'm going to post it up to um, Instagram and probably YouTube. Um, and you can watch it, you know, later on while you have your fabric. So you're just going to need your fabric. Of course, you're going to need scissors and you're going to need a sewing machine or a serger. Now, with your serger, um, I mean, with your sewing machine... I'm going to show you how to do it with a serger. Um, however, if you're using a sewing machine, you're going to do the same exact vibe. But what you would do is... This is so, it's getting bright. Okay, that's a little better. What you would do is with a sewing machine is you would put it on a zigzag stitch. Like a small zigzag stitch. So the, And by small, I mean like the zigzag is not like this like it's a close together zigzag stitch because this allows it to maintain the stretch right um so all i'm gonna do now i'm not gonna show you how to make the shirt it's gonna be another another day another time i'm not gonna show you necessarily how to like cut out this band um i will say that this the machine hmm what was that okay she said it wrong again okay you want her to get it together? Okay, she's going to try one more time. Okay, very good. So what I will say is that the outfit or the top that I'm going to sew today or sew the neck band on to today is an extra small top. Um, It's actually for this spring top that I have that most of you have seen. Um, it's super cute. And it's for an extra small. So this is a two by... I want to say this is a two by four, six or something like that. Let me measure for you right now. So the neck band that I have is a six and a quarter. Is it six and a quarter this way by mm, two and a quarter. Six and a quarter by two and a quarter. And it's on the fold. So you, of course, the six and a quarter would be like... 12 and a half that'll be 12 and a half long ways but you always want to cut your neck bands and stuff you just cut that on the fold right and then you're going to go ahead and um serge it or sew it down right here right so i'm not going to show you necessarily how to do that again that's another video for another time all i want to do right now is show you guys ladies and gentlemen how to sew a collar on i realized that is very much hard for people to know how to sew the collar on like it'll be like bunched up over here and like really flimsy over here like the way it needs to the way t-shirts sit 
it's very even in flesh all the way around and it's really really important to have it like that or everything falls apart it looks gross um i actually didn't make this shirt um this was from a sister that i trained one of my employees she made this shirt and as you could tell it it is literally perfect like I'm trying to get it on the hanger right all right mercy boom 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 but the there you go <laughs> trying to get it on the hang okay boom so you can see it it's perfect it's not raised up higher on one side than the other it's how it is supposed to be it's not bunched up all of that stuff it's how it's supposed to be all right so let's get to let's get to it um let me move some stuff around really quickly so you have to get the best possible hi hi there all right that didn't work the way i intended it did not work the way i intended but we're gonna try it again hi hi there Um, move some stuff out the way. What I have in front of me is my serger machine. I think what I'm going to do is actually put this on the tripod. I'm going to put my phone on the tripod. It'll make matters a lot easier. Hello, somebody. It's giving. It's giving. That's a little better. All right. So what we have in front of me is this is the serger machine. I'm gonna pull it to the side like this. Probably be a little better to see. And I'm going to go ahead and get the top of the shirt. Again, I'm just showing you how to actually put, husband, I am wearing your shirt, um, how to put a neck band onto a shirt. That's it, okay? Mm, I guess I could show you with this right here. Um, back piece these are back pieces and then where is the front piece this is a back piece give me a second uh, here's a front piece okay and then here is a front piece so right here you have the back piece, which is not cut on the fold. It's open right down here. Um, did I make my hat? No. No, I did not. No, I did not. So I'm gonna quick. Cover your ears, it gets a little loud, okay? I can quick show you. Surging down the back. back piece you open it up and this is what a back of a shirt looks like or the back of the shirt that I'm sewing looks like and 
and then this is the front. The front, you do not cut on the fold. The front is, I mean, you do not cut on um, salvage. You just cut on the fold, open it up, boom, got the whole front. So then we just go ahead, connect the shoulders back to the front. I'm gonna do that swiftly because I actually did not intend on dang it, making a whole shirt for y'all. <laughs> I thought I had uh, the top of the shirt already made and I was just gonna show you how to put the collar on. However, what you're getting right now is kind of a quick tutorial. So I'm just attaching the shoulders, the shoulder seam, shoulder, shoulder, shoulder seam right here. Boy, my teeth be chopping me up, shoulder seams. That's one shoulder. And then I'm going to attach the other shoulder. And then right after this, I'm going to show you how to put the collar on. Because once you have the back and the shoulders together, then you have the whole circle part for the neck hole. Everything attached and ready to go for a neck band. Boom. So this is what we're dealing with now. Okay. So this is what you have right now, is a neck hole that then needs a band. So this is the band. This band is six and a quarter by two and a quarter. Six and a quarter by two and a quarter. Okay, the shirt that I'm working with, this is a size extra small, all right? This actually goes great with this hat. It's actually giving, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, so what we're gonna do is, is now I'm just going to take this and fold it. This is a neck band. So I'm going to show you one more time. Boom. I surged it right down the, um, the center to close it up. It's cut on a fold. And then you just take it and you go ahead and you fold it. Okay. Take it. You go ahead and you start folding it. Got my pins. I'm sorry that you was on YouTube. Listen, I tried to do the whole YouTube live thing. Listen, it's ugly. YouTube is ugly. I'm sorry. I don't like it. I don't like the setup. I don't like, I don't like none of it at all. So I was like, I got to come. I got to come home. I got to come back home. We're going to come to this Instagram. So, well, like some line, brother. Um, so right now, I'm just pinning all the way around. So I pin the center. You always want to pin the center first because what you don't want, let me tell you what you don't want. You don't want to get the fold in and then it's not centered like this because, let me show you why you don't want that. When you start trying to fold it, all of this right here is going to start puckering up because it's not even. It has no way. It has no way to be even. So it's going to be all twisted around. Mm -mm. You need this part. Remember, we're doing this so that everything could be as flesh as possible. So you want the center to be lined up, okay? And now this part is really, really important. So when you are going to go ahead and start pinning around, what I do is I get the pin around everything first. I don't just go and fold it and just get the firing off on the top of the shirt, okay? You fold everything first. The next important step is as you're folding it, because I've seen this before, where it's like, now why would you fold it bad like that? Why would you pin it uneven? So when you get the pinning it and you folding it and everything, don't pin it and it's not, don't put no pin in here like this here and it's not even. Because what's going to happen is said neck band is going to be sewn onto said uh, neck hole and this part right here, because it's not even, it's just gonna start unraveling up in there. It's gonna start coming out. Everything, when it comes to sewing, is about detail. Pay attention to the detail. Sewing is like 90% cutting something out right, like making the puzzle pieces right. That's why pattern making is like such a big um, industry. Because once you have the pattern pieces, then you could go ahead and actually like use our brains and put the thing together. So 
90% of sewing is, you know, no, I'm gonna say 80. I'm gonna say 80% of sewing is cutting out your pattern, okay? The 10, 15% is be creative like you gotta like you gotta be able to think <laughs> gotta be able to think so when i see things like folding a neckband and it's not even in my mind what i heard what i heard <laughs> is they wasn't thinking like no it's you saw something together so this has to be it has to be even make it even and then the other five percent is sewing in a straight line like, you have to be able to sew in a straight line. You can't sew in a straight line. It's not going to work, okay? <laughs> so, making it as even as possible. It should be so even that you can't tell that there are two pieces. The only way you're able to tell that there's two pieces or there's a fold process happening is that if I go like this. It should be so even, okay? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around. Bring it around down. Take it all the way around. We got the pins in there. Boom, boom. Boom, ba da 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 dum 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 we're about to make magic, guys. This is doing neck bands and having... You even see how the neck hole is even? Let me get it on right. All right. Like, it's not like a piece is like kind of over here because the thing when it comes to sewing is, that's why I say like 80% of it is cutting something out, right? Is if this is over here and this is over here, guess what? It don't matter how good I do this neck band. I sewed this out wrong. So what's going to happen is, is what? The shirt with the neckband on is gonna look like this. It's just gonna look. It's still gonna look janky. So <laughs> the hole has to be even. It is a perfect hole. Okay. T-shirts, any shirt, really, really, unless you modify it in a certain way, like for fashion senses of it all, the back is gonna come up higher, right? And then the top is gonna come up a little, uh, or gonna come down a bit lower, um, because. It's cooler that way, okay? Um, so right now, we're just going to go ahead and start pinning this on. And you'll see why I put all of these pins on the neckband in a second. Ugh. All right. Y'all know what I got in my spirit. If you know me on the put MasterCard, you know I'm burping, y'all. Got to burp in my spirit. Had to get that out there, damn. All right, so now... We're gonna go ahead and apply the neck band to the neck hole. Real quick, I am going to tighten up because I'm about to cut these strings off. But what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and tighten up the, the thread. Um, and all you do is just take up one, of the, one of the strings and then you just pull it and it'll make a knot for you right there. I know some people like literally be making knots around their fingers. I don't have that type of time. Like, when it comes to anything on the planet, I am going to find the fastest way to possibly do it that I don't have in any time at a time. <laughs> so you just, boom, find one of the strings or two of them, and then you just tighten it up. And it'll make a knot for you, okay? So I'm just taking it from each side, the back side, the front, and the other side. String and string and a cut and a one a two a three okay so how do i want to show what is the best possible way to show this part i think i'm going to bring you over here and i'm going to put this down Down like this, I'll bring it around town. And do this. That work? Kind 
Come on now. Crying, guys. All right, it's gonna be that. It's gonna be this. This I'm gonna show you. So basically what my, what my soul just told me was, make your next investment a tripod that's for a table. All right, so this is cool. Oh my God, I look like a YouTuber. Oh my God. <laughs> so, what we're doing right now is about to just pin this neck band onto the shirt, okay? Okay, I'm doing my hair and watching, so I pray this is safe. I am, I'm gonna save it. So right here we have the center. Remember we put the center together. This is the center. This is the center back of the shirt, okay? So we're gonna take the center here and this is a trick, y'all. So this right here is the seam allowance, right? So we got the seam that's back here. Right here on the inside, I have the seams. Let me show you, I have the seams facing this direction. Both of the seams are facing this direction. So the bulk is on this side. You understand what I'm saying? So when I put this and pin this here, I'm not going to take this and put it on the same side because that's too much for the serger to go over. It's too much, it's just gonna feel very bulky, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull it to this side and kind of match it up, kind of match it up like an actual, um, what you call it? What's it called? Uh, like a puzzle, like a puzzle. Match it up like a puzzle. So I'm not gonna put it to this side because what you're looking at right now is like a lot of layers this is a lot of layers for the sewing machine and surgery to go over so i'm gonna put it over to this side okay oh guys thanks for the badges i totally appreciate it and now what we're going to do is this is the most important part so we have the back connected let me turn you over a little bit here. Come on, tripod. Don't do me like this. All of my friends are watching. Don't embarrass us. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we have the back connected right here. This is the most important part. You want to take this middle. You want to find the center. So this will be my center. I already have a pin at the center. And you want to find the center of the front of the shirt. This is important, y'all. This is the most important part. Okay. <laughs> this is. Hey, that's the. A... I was looking for this little bottle here. Hey, where is it? My little foot can't find it. Oh, it's right here. I was looking for that for the. Uh... Got water in it and everything. For the iron. All right then. This is the most important part because if he's not done correctly at this first step, everything is going to be bunchied up on the side and you don't want that here, okay? So we find the center of this, which I already had the pin right there, and you find the center of the shirt. So now all I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it to the center front of the shirt. That's it. Just going to bring it to the center front of the shirt. And then I take this and I pin it right here. So now it's even. So now just what all we have to do is, because what most people do is, is take your neck band and just start trying to stretch it and try to figure out a way to make this little hole, this little neck band to fit something that it's not gonna naturally fit. So by the time they'll finish, when I was working on my apprentices, some of them, by the time they'll finish, it's like they have all this extra meat over here. And it's like, no, 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 it's not extra. You just didn't do it properly. Work in sections. Work in sections. Everything is easier in sections. So now, guess what we have to work with now? You can either work on this side or work on this side. So what do we do now? The same exact thing over again. Going to stretch it. That's the middle right there. I'm gonna find that middle. Let me turn it over for you. This is the side, right? This is the side shoulder. So we stretch it. 
boom i'm gonna bring this up and i'm gonna get that middle pin that down that makes sense so i'm gonna do it one more time on the other side i'm gonna turn it to the other side Ugh. this is the shoulder seam right here this is the front of the neck this is the back of the neck this is the shoulder seam so this is the side of the collar this is the side piece right here and i'm gonna take it i'm gonna stretch it out take my fingers i'm gonna bring this up now i can loosen it up because now i found my center i'm gonna take a pin pin that so what do i have let me open this up so you can see a little bit better I have the front of my collar, which is right here, or the front of my shirt, that's right here. I got the back, remember we got the seams, got the back right here. I have the two sides right here where the shoulder seam is. And all I have to work with is what? Getting these parts on the neckband. This little part, I'm not working with big parts. So what I'm doing is as I work on my neckband, I'm working with smaller and smaller sections. So I just got small, little four sections to work with. And I do the same exact thing over and over again. So now I got a smaller section to work with. Just gonna stretch it. Boom. Stretch it. Boom. This is why I put the pins in there already. So as I'm stretching it, I could just take the pin that's already in the neck band and put it in there. I'm not gonna, I don't want to go and get like, I don't wanna loosen it up. So again, I'm going to stretch it, pin it. And the same thing, the same type of idea that we had with the neckband, like when you go to pin it, don't pin and your neck, your uh, neck hole is not perfectly lined up with the edge of your neckband. When you're looking at it like straight down, it should look as if you have just one piece of fabric. That's how close it needs to be. Because if you do it like this, guess what? If you start having those type of gaps, when I go and put it in the serger, this part of the shirt, like over here somewhere, the serger may be able to get, and by serger, I mean this, right? So this is a serge um, stitch. So if it's uneven, the stitch may get somewhere over here and like get all three pieces or you right all three pieces of uh fabric right but if it's not layered properly right here it's just gonna catch on a little bit or it may not catch on at all so what's gonna happen is when you put it back right side out this little piece gonna be falling off so that's why it's super duper important to have everything lined up does that make sense thumbs up if that makes sense or put hearts in there if it makes sense. And let me know if I'm going fast. Because if I'm going too fast, I can slow down. So we lining it up perfectly. Lining it up. I'm going to do it again. Stretch. Line it up. Stretch. Line it up. And this is the last little piece. Stretch it. Line it up. Stretch it. Line it up. Boom. And now you have the entire neck pinned down. Now you have the entire neck pinned down. So all you have to do now is sew it that's it friends and now i'm gonna show you how i sew it down now let's see okay gonna bring you up a little bit tripod do me right do me right boom All right, maybe I should put you on the other side of me. 
I'm thinking I should put you on the other side of me because it'll be easier for you to see that direction. Yeah, I'm gonna put you on the other side. Give me a, like, give me like totally just a second. Just a minute. Gonna put you over here. Yeah. just down maybe it's time to see my face again i think this will just be yeah this is just gonna i think that's gonna have to do i think <laughs> okay is this visible this is okay i hope that's okay all right so now what we're gonna do is you always want to start from the back of the shirt so we gotta locate the back of the shirt this is the back of the shirt maybe let me bring the brightness down a little bit on the camera yeah that's a little better so located the back that's where you want to start gonna take this pin out right here you cannot sew with pins on a serger you can on a sewing machine depending on your machine and now you know how much it's able to like handle on a serger that's not your ministry at all you will hurt yourself you will break your serger machine and um it's a blade right here like right there is a blade that cuts off like this excess dust and everything and that blade will absolutely break your pin but most importantly it will get in your eye okay it has happened <laughs> and that thing pow get you you'll remember next time you absolutely remember next time i guarantee you i guarantee it okay <laughs> i think something cool is what i'm gonna do is get a tag but this is actually one of my shirts on the site anyway. So I'm just gonna do a whole, I'm gonna do a whole shebang, okay? Ah, uh, gonna put the tag on the tag that's upside down, facing, facing, it's inside out-ish, facing upside down. So when I'm done, it'll fold over and it'll be the right side for y'all, okay? But nonetheless, what we're gonna do is gonna take this pin out this is the center of the collar gonna pull my blade up put that in there bring that down I'm gonna put on the tag as I'm doing it though so now I'm gonna get this styling I'm gonna do it slow because typically I would just run through this. Um, are you recording this for YouTube? I'm gonna put it up on YouTube, probably. I was actually on YouTube Live already, but YouTube Live is ugly, Sister Victoria. Did you know that? Like, YouTube Live is so ugly. The inside of it is ugly. It wasn't what I expected. Um, so I was like, I need to come back home to instagram because like i like to see the comments i like to i like i want to see i just want to see so i'm gonna keep sewing boom as you're sewing you see how nothing i want you to pay attention to nothing is coming out of here outside of just little bits of dust what i see too often is when people are using a surgery machine they think that this is supposed to be a scissor it's not a scissor okay it's just a blade that cuts off dust it should be very little like like such little fine little things and honestly this is just it, this is too much this is too much i was probably cutting like into pants or something like that wanted to make something smaller because it really should just look like this dust 
okay? I've already cut out what I needed to cut out. The whole shirt is surged. Like, there's no seam allowance, so there's no need to cut anything else. Anything else, okay? And then you just keep cutting, keep cutting, just keep. I mean, just keep sewing, just keep sewing. And you want this lined up. You can't really see it here, but you want it lined up like right with the edge of the blade. Again, I'm slowing it down for y'all so you can see exactly how I'm doing it. you to make sure that all three layers like you see right here how this layer is kind of coming up this way when I get to this space I'm gonna make sure that that layer is lined up with the rest of it okay taking this out as I go Then to end it off, you don't stop at where you started. You got to run over it just a little bit. Boom. And then I just run it right off. That's it. Take this. Again, like we did before, we're going to go ahead and tighten it up. I like to have that piece behind the actual tag itself so you don't, like, really see it. So I'm tightening this up. Where's my snippers? Go ahead and cut that. Boom. And what we have is, let me bring y'all back to where you were. Hi, friends. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hi. Hi. Hi, my name's Anita. Okay. So, <laughs> what we have now, we got gold. That's what it is. We got gold. Of course, you need to go ahead and, um, what you call it, like, sew it down. But, what you have is a perfect collar. Nothing, you see? Nothing bunching, nothing crunching. Once you sew it down, it'll really, really be super flesh. I mean, not sew it down, uh, iron it. Once you iron it down, be real cold. Get the tag all like, you know, not be flipping up and have the tag nice and down. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you. <laughs> Ooh, look at that, boy. <laughs> Hey, yeah, this is taupe. This is taupe. Look at that. That's pretty, isn't it? Look at it. Come out perfect every time. I'm trying to tell you. Come out perfect every time. Look at that. Very good. So, um, this will be up on the site if you need it. Actually, listen. I'm figuring out the site as good as it's at that point where I, I gotta do some transition and I haven't done inventory in a while on the site. However, the tag is on here, just gotta put the um the sleeve um on there, make the pants, whatever. But all of that is just sitting right on that side anyway. If you want this, DM me this is a size extra small, which means it's my size. Okay. It's an extra small. Um and let me know. I got you. To ship it out to you manana or tuesday no tuesday my husband's off my husband's off on tuesday so tuesday i can have it shipped out um but yeah she in there like somewhere dang i left but that's the shirt that just had the pins yeah this is the shirt that just had the pins <laughs> yes 
And then of course I still gotta put the sleeves on and like finish it up for y'all and everything. So yeah, if you want this full outfit, let me know, DM me. And um, like I said before, the tag is in there. I can ship it out, okay? Um, um, it was something else that I wanted to show y'all. How do I, um, how do I, oh my god you could do so many cool things with instagram live now like the girls did not tell me so absolutely mm, you could share you could screen share okay i just want to show y'all how bomb these is that how you do it no never mind never mind sorry y'all it's, it's not in there so I wish I was an extra small. I'm sorry, girl. Let me know what size you is. We do have, like, still some more sizes. Um, those lashes are... These lashes I got from um, Chelsea. It's Sister Chelsea, your brother. But see, that's why she did my lashes. It only took, like, 50 minutes. Usually, it took, like, an hour and a half, two hours. But I went to my super-duper simple. So, it only took, like, a super-duper simple amount of time. Thank you, girl. Mm, yeah. Um... But let me know what size you need, and we can handle that for you as well. They do go up to extra large, so extra small to extra large. Um, they run big as well, so if you're a 2XL, you still be able to fit the extra large. Um, but if you're like a, like a 2XL, teeter or no, like 3XL, let me know. We can do a 2XL for you. It's no problem. Um, and then this is it. I guess let me know what else y'all want to... Um, I mean, the 50 minutes went by really, really quick, though. I swear. I swear. It went by really quick. I guess let me know what else y'all want to see, like tutorials that y'all want um, to have had seen. And um, did you enjoy yourself? Was this fun? Um, I just found out you was live via stories. Yeah. Um, about the non-stretch fabric, sis. What about the non-stretch fabric? Is it the same? It is not the same. That's what I need in extra large. The twins are extra. Got you. Um, it's not the same with non-stretch fabric. So with non-stretch fabric, um, actually, I will show y'all. I will show y'all how it is with non-stretch fabric. I guess that'll be the next thing that I do um, for the girls. Is showing you how to apply a crew neck style collar with non-stretch fabric. Um, it is not the same, however, it is 10 times easier. <laughs> it's so much easier to do actually with non-stretch fabric. Um, Cause you don't have to like, you don't have to um, do all that easing in. Like you don't have to do none of that. None of that, as long as the, what's the word I'm looking for? The only thing is if it's non-stretch, then you have to know how to put yeah, before the first. I'm going to do it before the first. <laughs> um, you have to know how to put a zipper in. Either a zipper or you have to know how to put the um, the latch hooks, the hook and eye thing. That's the only thing. That's why I kind of like stretchy stuff because I don't feel like doing zippers. And I don't feel like doing the hook and eye. I only want to do the sewing part. <laughs> So that's the only thing when it comes to non-stretch fabric. <laughs> yes, it's eight days away. That's the only thing when it comes to non-stretch fabric is that there are other things on top of that that you do have to know how to do, like zippers and hooking eyes and um, stuff like that. Well, plain t-shirts are are stretchy. Like t-shirts have a stretch to them, so it's that is stretchy. That is for stretch <laughs> material. Um, I love it. I definitely need to tune in more often on these classes. Um, since this is the first class, so I need to I need to be tuning in myself on more classes because this is the first time that I've done this in like literally three years. Um, sure, everything did. Crazy to a lot. Blah, 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 blah. Let me make sure I don't want to miss anything. Um, do you recommend to do the band before the sleeves? You could I recommend to do the band before the sleeves only because I don't like as I don't like a whole bunch of fabric like as I'm finagling with the um with the collar. I don't want a whole bunch of fabric getting in the way. 
like as you saw when I was like putting it on it was just like it's just I don't want heaviness <laughs> on there I want it to be as heavy not as not heavy as possible so while I'm putting the band on I could just I don't have to focus on like moving fabric out the way and it's just get just do that I mean but this also depends on like the weight of the fabric this fabric is pretty dense it's breathable but it's dense right so it's still great for the summer but it's like it's a dense typically when i'm putting on the collar i'm not doing it the way i showed y'all like i'm not putting it on the table doing all the extra stuff i literally just have it in my hand and i'm going around doing it like that that's it right so the heavier it is the harder it makes for me to have to do that so i would put the i put the sleeves on um after the collar yeah, I put the sleeves on after the collar and um, all that stuff. But it's really no right or wrong. Like, you can do whatever way. Was sewing really hard when you first started? Um, yeah, I sucked. <laughs> I sucked. Yeah, when I first started, it was trash. Um, but that's why it's like creativity. You have to have a lot of creativity when it comes to sewing or because what i would even though it sucked like hindsight looking back i'm looking at certain stuff like why would i ever wear this but then i'm seeing it for what it's about to be like what it's going to be when i get it better so i didn't even know that it was as whack as it was back then because i'm looking at it like this is this is this is great i did a great job so um as far as like getting to a space where I understood sewing more then it's like yeah that took a little while that took I would say it took about a good year for me to like like ooh, maybe two maybe two years to be like yo I'm smooth with this like tell me what you want I got you I'm smooth with it. I'm gonna figure it out but them first couple years was really just trial and error and I didn't go to a school to learn how to sew at all i learned how to sew via failure i learned even like these bobbins right so on the sewing machine you have a bobbin um and that's how the thread goes like it intertwines with each other so that your fabric can actually stick together so the bobbin sits at the bottom of the sewing machine i used to hand thread the bobbin because i didn't know how to do it on the machine so that's what I'm saying. Like, I learned how to sew through failure. Like, I did everything the long way, the hard way. So now, Justin and uh, Demetrius, y'all can get out the comments. <laughs> this is my shirt, okay? So now, um, when I'm sewing, I just want to do everything. as the, There is an easier way to do all the stuff. There is an easy way to do everything. So, um let me see all i saw my husband said that this is his shirt let me get that shirt you wearing big nisa it looks like it's for me not you oh um uh yeah it, <laughs> it's nice isn't it i ain't gonna hold you this is buttery <laughs> this fellas if you want to know how to make this shirt let me know <laughs> this is nice um, I struggle, but I can do simple things like aprons, pillows, and stuff. Very good. I actually do want to, um, or what I, my next big project will be changing the cushions and stuff on the couch that we have. Um, I'm over the color, so we're changing it out. We're changing it out. I love you, put a, I sent in my application for hire once I get a surgery. Tired of leaving my house. <laughs> I love you, too. Oh, that gives me so much confidence yeah girl yeah like it'll be so much easier and i think that what makes sewing for people so much harder is that a lot of people don't teach it with ease like i like to teach it with your creativity in mind so the best way i can explain it is like you know in a white school like for a cheerleading it's like and what and two and three and four and i do that and out the door and it's like yo I can't my rhythm and you go to a black school and it's just and then you kind of just get get the rhythm because creativity is really important 
when it comes to doing a thing, right? So I show you with your creativity in mind. I don't want to take away your ability to be creative and to think. What is that glitter? Oh, I don't want to take away anyone's ability to like think and be able to create. All I want to do is show you how to um, like the easiest ways, like little tips and tricks here and there. But the way I learned how to sew was I learned because I was being creative. I didn't have nobody in front of me saying, don't do this, don't do that. It was literally just like, oh, did that wrong, don't do that again. <laughs> so, so, but what it did is it allowed me to be able to make a mistake and to be able to finesse it so it looked real good. It made me creative, made me creative. Um, so I wanna keep, allow y'all to stay creative and to find your flow, to find your way and and not feel like and then do this and then do this and then do this because it that it gets anxiety just just flow with it just flow with it i braided not one braid was glued to the screen get yourself together get yourself together that's motivating as i get more serious yes i think when y'all get married she threw away all her clothes i wear justin shirts morning noon and night his clothes. This is the thing. This is what they don't tell you. Listen. Listen. Brothers, I need y'all to listen. Because when y'all get married, right, your shirts no longer belong to you. And neither does your socks. They do not. That's why y'all socks are so much more expensive. And y'all clothes in general is just more expensive. Men's quality of shirt. They don't, they don't put this in front. Look at this. They don't put this in Forever 21. Like, y'all quality is so much better than out. Mm. And y'all socks. Y'all socks are so much more comfortable than our socks. Our socks, they come, they don't even come packaged up in, like, the plastic the way y'all do. Y'all don't come with no dust on it. Like, our socks come, like, 10 for a dollar. 10 for a dollar. Like, yeah, I'm going to get it because it's 10 for a dollar. <laughs> but it's not comfortable. Y'all socks be like 10 for $15 and it has a high thread count. It's plush. You put it on your leg and it's like, ah, what is this? Heaven is great. See, the sisters know. They know. So the reason why you can never find your stuff is because we do have it. It's simple. It is because we do have it. My husband tries to get me to justify why I was wearing his clothes. So I just wear them. <laughs> they're better. I just wear them because they're better. Yes, the socks too. I always got his socks on. 10 for a buck. She lying for what? Y'all, y'all, our stuff are cheap. Like our socks are cheap. Everything we have is cheap. Unmarried and I buy men's socks. See? See? I'm trying to. Y'all not hearing me when I'm talking. <laughs> No, for real, because why are men's socks like four ply? Yes, and our socks are one ply tissues. They are one ply tissue papers. Um, they be having the best fabric, exactly. <laughs> four ply. But yeah, so that's the um, that's the gist. Um, I guess the next video is uh, what's the, what's the next video? Y'all tell me. Y'all tell me what y'all want next. I know Sister Marianne wants to know how to put like a shirt on without the like a non-stretchy type of vibe. Um, instant hole in the toe. Don't wash the socks because they're going to wind up coming this morning. Then you got taller socks. Pass them down to the children. Um, I know Sister Marianne wants to know how to do the, the shirt without the stretch. Right? A corduroy suit? Absolutely not. Um, invisible zipper okay invisible zipper so that could go with the shirt right how to sew on buttons like what kind of buttons like the four hole buttons or like regular type buttons that just has like the little hook on the back like you got the ball and then you got the hook that sits to the back like that type of button um but the invisible zipper could go with sister mariam's idea um because you have to then put the zipper for the shirt. I don't know what a lap zipper is. I have no idea what a lap zipper is. You gotta tell me what that is. Um, 
I just realized the t-shirts have stretched, so um, I'm with Sister Mariam. Hey, love. Where my socks? Where my socks at? <laughs> I don't have your socks on Where today. My socks? I don't have them on today. <laughs> They're where I left them. Come say hi. My husband just got home. Come say hi. That's some leg one. That's some love. Give me some sugar. Alright, so I'm gonna let go, y'all. Ow! Hit my own elbow on the Alright, so I'm gonna let go, y'all. See y'all later. Love you guys.